Now that I have my glue set up on the plate with the roller as we have used before, I think I may have put a bit too much glue on the paper. I'm sorry, on the uh, plate, but we're gonna roll with it. So, as you guys remember, this is what we have so far, and the plan is to get those three lines and those three lines to match perfectly in order for everything to be glued where it needs to be. So, because of that, make sure that the side with lines is the side we do not add glue to. We're gonna be adding glue to the other side. Okay, now we are going to grab our piece here, and I like to do one side at a time, meaning I'm going to put a slight fold in it, get it close to where my dots are, and then align them. Okay. Once all of my dots are in a perfect line, I am going to hold the paper exactly in perfect place and simply drop the other side. And if I gently bring my hand across, only in the middle, that is going to put our back lines very, very close to where they need to be. The only difference is gonna be maybe a hair. So it's much easier to move when we are so close to the line to begin with. Ooh. There you go, that's a, something you don't want to do. Leave this aside and get glue all over your arm. I'm gonna use a piece of trash paper so that my arm doesn't get stuck to the table. All right, and reason why I did simply that is because we need to finish gluing this before the glue begins to get tacky. And then we're gonna be grabbing our handy pushing towel, as always. And first, we're gonna be just dabbing it. All right. Now that we have our centerpiece, like we did before with our bone folder and the entire edge, we're simply gonna put it in place and run it up and down with a not a lot of pressure. Very, very smooth. That is what we have. And as you guys can see, my lines are there, and they're all together where they should be. Okay, and my book closes. Of course, right now it closes a little bit tight. This is the first time it closes, or that we fold it with that new piece there. So now, we can set this aside for a few minutes, let it dry. Personally, I like to let large pieces uh, that have recently been glued, such as this. This is a substantially large piece, uh, and it was just glued. I normally like to set it aside at, l at least for five minutes. So this is a perfect time to go grab a drink of water, right? Something that doesn't take too terribly long. At the very minimum, those five minutes. Simply for that glue to get tacky enough to where I'm not gonna be able to move this paper within the glue by accident. Now that we have glued our centerpiece to the middle, and have given it a couple of minutes to, uh, for the glue to at least begin to get tacky in there. That way we don't accidentally move that piece. We're gonna be adding our pocket. Our first pocket to add is gonna be the back pocket. As you guys can see, the smaller pocket between the two. So we're gonna be adding the back one. Now here, and I'm gonna put something inside so that you guys can see the difference in color and everything. All right, so everything you see there of this color is where we're gonna be adding glue to. Um, I, I'm simply putting this piece of paper in there right now so that you guys don't get confused. Uh, one thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna be adding glue to these lips, um, these wings as we called them earlier, including the corner of this one so that when we fold this one in, it glues to there as well. Adding glue to these two wings here. We can do this with a small brush, since it's not a huge area that we're adding glue to.
Okay. Now that we have that glued, or that glue applied, comes the fun part. Let's get another piece here. Just magazine paper. We're going to hold the pocket, get our glue sheet out of the way, bring our cover, and there's a little more focus for you. We are going to remove the magazine paper. And as you guys can see, that gives it a little bit of, of gives us a little bit of time to make sure we have absolutely no wet glue on our hands and no dry glue either. You want to be able to get, you want to make sure and get all of that off. If not, whenever you run your hand on anything, you might dirty some things up. So we are going to be placing this where it should go. And as you guys can see, I'm holding the back up. I am only gluing the front. Once I have it exactly where I want it to be, then I will let go of the back as well. Okay, now before we go pushing on it, uh, we are going to add the, that extra piece of our magazine paper. so that we don't get things glued to each other where we don't need them to be. Okay, now that I know that my magazine paper has made it all the way down to where it should, now we can grab our towel and we wanna go from the middle out on this one as well. If we go from the outside in, then we're gonna be pushing that excess glue inward, so we want to go out. And now we can work on the front pocket. And now we glue the second one in the same way that we glued the first one. We want to leave this aside. As you guys can see, there is small opening on both sides. We want to leave it just like this until the glue dries. So with this glue, it doesn't take too long to dry. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and set it aside. While we wait for our cover and pockets to dry, we're gonna do a little work on the notebook itself. Now, what we're going to do with the notebook is, and this is this is an optional step, really. I, I'm going to do it simply because I, I want this to come out as best as possible, and that way I get to show you guys how to do it. On the inside cover, as you guys see, there's stuff pre-written on the cover. So what we're going to do is we are going to add this sheet here in order to serve two purposes. One cover everything that is written, pre-written on the notebook cover. We're gonna cover that, and then this will also uh, work as the inside cover, okay? So as you guys can see, when I put this piece that I have cut right to the outside edge, there's still a very slight space right here. That is done on purpose. It's a very small space, but if I push this all the way in, to where the notebook is sewn together, then the notebook is not gonna want to close all the way. So in order to avoid that, we leave a little bit of space there. So what, now we are going to glue this. And as you guys can see, the corners have been cut to the same measurements and shape as the notebook, which is very simple tracing, cutting right over the line. Okay, now we are going to, instead of putting the glue directly on this and then applying it to the notebook, what I'm gonna do in, in this case is apply the glue 
onto the cover of the book. Okay, so I'm going to apply the glue here. I have made a very thin line of where the glue needs to stop, as you guys see that line right there. So I will be gluing everything up to that line. Now for this piece, I like to have it open first, match, let's see here, match corner one, match the bottom corner, and I simply run my finger ever so slightly along the edge so that I can make sure that they are level and everything is where it should be. Then I very slowly run my hand in until it meets that line. And then before you close this to do anything, make sure you add a piece of, instead of using any type of paper, in this case we're going to be using plastic. Okay. Now we can close the book knowing that it's not going to stick to itself. And we can rub the rest of the glue around where it needs to be. Okay. Once we have done that, we have a nice clear cover with an inside cover and then of course we have the plastic but then our notebook begins. So now we've done one side we can go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Okay, there's both sides of our notebook done. We have our cover, which is the original cover of the notebook, our new cover, inside cover, and then where the notebook begins. Of course, right now I have the plastic in this piece of magazine paper so that everything can dry without getting our actual notebook so we're gonna set this to dry and here very soon our cover and our pockets should be completely dry and then we can proceed to the following steps we are almost done with our masterpiece and this is gonna come out quite great